What's up guys and happy Thanksgiving. Well, late Thanksgiving. So, you know what? I was getting ready to just go leave for the day and uh, go to the gym and get my workout in, but I started browsing on Amazon and I noticed that there are some really, really awesome Black Friday deals. And even though I already did post a couple lists in our community link uh, for you guys to build your own gaming PC and stuff for uh, your photo and video people in your life, uh, I felt like, look, if I don't put together some kind of PC build or something like that for you guys before Black Friday is over, I'm not doing you guys a solid like I should be, and I'm not doing my job as my uh, as a YouTuber. So I felt like before I leave, I'm gonna have to go ahead and get on there and build you guys a strictly Black Friday PC, uh, just so you guys can get some parts off Amazon and get that sweet Prime shipping and get it shipped right to your door for the holidays and uh, get gaming right now. Uh, and there's plenty of deals so you guys can actually piece together an entire PC for a really awesome price. Uh, so we're going to head over to the computer over there and we're going to see what we can find. And we're going to try to keep our budget under $1,000 for an entire setup. That includes a monitor, mouse, and keyboard. So let's head over to my PC back here and we're going to go ahead and piece this thing together real quick uh, before I get out of here. That way you guys can have some kind of idea of what you should be picking up on Black Friday and some really good deals you can get on a new PC build. So let's roll the intro. We'll get right into it. Let's go. So guys, here we are. So you know what we always start at when we're gonna do a PC build? We're gonna start with PC part. We're gonna start with PC part picker, sorry. So like I said, guys, we're at PCPartPicker.com. This is where I always like to start because they still do take into account all the different sale prices of everything, especially on today, like Black Friday. Uh, so all of their parametric filters, everything will still find the right prices for you guys. So this is a very, very useful site when you're piecing together a computer build. Um, so what we're going to do, like I said, we want to keep this under $1,000, okay, for a full build. We're going to need a monitor, mouse, and keyboard as well. Um, so we're going to start with a build that kind of gives us some extra room to give, get those extra peripherals in there as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with these, with either the AMD modest build or the Intel modest build. That is about the right price point we want to be at. Because obviously if we go to these ones that are already around $900, we're not going to be able to afford much more after that. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start at about the $700 price range and that gives us $300 to play with to get our other stuff we need and we'll actually come in under $1,000, which is what we want. Uh, so me personally, I like to do gaming, streaming, editing, everything like that. I don't just do pure gaming. That's normally what the new Intel stuff is for. Uh, so I'm going to again go AMD like I always do. Uh, if you guys are an Intel fan, that's fine. You can start with this and still follow along, but I'm gonna go with the uh, AMD build. We're gonna start from there, okay? So let's go ahead and click this. And so like I said, look at this. Pretty much everything is gonna be from Amazon and Newegg with the exception of this, but I know this is also on sale on uh, Amazon as well. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look at a couple of things on Amazon that we can tweak to actually make this even better. Okay, so we're gonna start with our processor. Uh, typically, with a build like this, the 2600 is a great place to start, uh, and I have no problem with starting there. Uh, we could actually maybe squeeze a little bit more power in this build. We can actually maybe upgrade this to a 3600 if we can get the right price. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see what, let's go ahead and go to the CPU here. Let's see what the, the 2600 is going for 114. Let's see the 3600 is 185.99. So I think we could honestly switch this and get the 3600 in this build uh, because we're going to tweak one more thing that's going to save us some more money. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go with the 3600. So something I actually found was very interesting about this too. If you look at the prices right here, the Ryzen 7 2700X, which is an eight core 16 thread processor, you can actually get that for even cheaper. It's $159. So we may actually change our minds now, now that I've shopped a little bit. So let's go ahead and let's, let's check this out really quick. Let's add that to our, with, to our list really quick. So that's at Walmart. What does Amazon have the Ryzen 7 2700X for? What does Amazon have that for? $159 even at Amazon. That is pretty awesome. So you guys, that between that and the 3600, there is like negligible difference in a lot of the performance numbers. And actually sometimes the 2700X performs a little bit better because it does have a higher clock on it. Uh, so to be honest, you guys, I would still, prefer you guys to go with the Ryzen 7 2700X because it's a great processor. It comes with an awesome cooler, better than what comes with the 3600 to be honest. Uh, and you know what? 
that's that's an awesome price we're gonna you know what we're gonna we're gonna go for that all right we're gonna go ahead and stick with the 2700x for this build okay and then as far as our motherboard so this b450m d3 ds3h micro atx this thing's actually pretty good uh we had one that was similar to this in my last build that i make i made i had a little bit more of expensive one um if we can squeeze out a bit more money and uh get a better deal on some other things you know what? we can actually upgrade our motherboards we have a better motherboard so like in the future when you guys want to upgrade we can actually kind of give you a little bit more features and uh for motherboard stuff let's go ahead and uh i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys this real quick 450 motherboard let's go ahead and check out some motherboards on amazon so this aorus right here i was looking at this earlier this one's actually a really great deal so I did a little bit of a check already for the motherboard. So it seems like this one and that one that we have on our price list right here are actually like the cheapest ones we can get that are actually, you know, like worth anything. So we'll stick with that for now, okay? Um, and as far as the memory, now this is a super killer deal on, uh, on, on at Newegg right here. Look at this. 16 gigs of DDR4 3000 memory for 50 bucks, you guys. That is insane, okay? Um, it's nothing pretty, just really just basic RAM. But again, we're just, we're trying to get, you know, everything we can get at this price point. Um, you know, and then 3000 megahertz, which I used in my last build. And that did great at, uh, at 1080p and everything like that. So it's, it's going to be a great kit for you. If you want to spend a little more money, uh, these team T force Delta RGB Ram sticks are a great option. If you guys want to get that RGB bling in that, in that thing, we can actually just spend what is it six more six ninety nine more and get some really really nice looking uh, really nice looking RAM. So I, I think you guys should be we should be totally fine with that and that's gonna look great in your build. And again, we only increased our our margin by a little bit. If you guys want to save every penny, you want to save that six ninety nine, go with the other memory. But me personally, I'd go with this. Okay, so storage right here. This right here is an option. It's a great option for you guys. Look at this. $39.99 for a 512 gigabyte solid state drive. And then you also get a two terabyte 7200 RPM uh, Seagate Barracuda. This is typically the kind of combination that you would always want to go with. Okay, so what I, yeah, what I, what I totally suggest for you guys is you guys just go with this combination right here. Uh, I tried to play, play around with a couple of things, but honestly, I think these two right here are going to be your guys' best bet as far as storage. Um, I did check on, on Amazon and Newegg to see if there is any other, you know, better storage options, but those look like they should, they are pretty, pretty good for, uh, for what you guys are going to be doing. So, uh, I, I don't think you can get much better than that, uh, as, at this price point, especially. Uh, so I think, I think this will be a great option for you. All right. So moving on to the video card, which is like the most important part of this build, uh, which in an upcoming video, I will explain to you why, but so for this build, they suggest you get the GTX 1660 Ti 6 gigabyte, which is an amazing card for 1080p gaming, okay? And it's gonna be awesome for this build. But my only thing here is we can now get a 1660 Super and save a few dollars. So here we're gonna go, let's go ahead and just go to Amazon and go for the 1660 Super. Let's go ahead and look for that. And, I, and already I can see that we have a great price right here. We're gonna go ahead and sort from price low to high. Uh, and we're gonna find the cheapest one. We're gonna do the same thing uh, with Newegg. Okay, you guys, so the cheapest one that I could find uh, for the 1660 Super is this Asus right here, uh, the GT, GTX 1660 Super uh, 6 gig. It is the Evo edition, it looks like. Uh, so not really sure if this is like the best card, but it does, it's all black and it's got a nice backplate on it. So that's that looks pretty awesome. Um, and it is only 229. And again, there's a gigabyte version, it's only $10 more. So this is what we're gonna add to our build because this is the cheapest 1660 Super that I could find that's actually available right now because these are probably getting bought up because these are a very, very great price to performance card. They're only a little bit less, uh, less. they only have a little bit less performance than the 1660 Ti uh, for obviously a much better price. That six, what was that 1660 Ti? It was like, uh, gosh, they're going for like, um, or yeah, like 279, something like that. So you're, we're saving at least 30, 40 bucks, something like that. Okay. So this is a, this is a great, um, a great value here that we're going to be saving a bit of money, um, that we can buy our peripherals with. Okay. So right now we're going, we're running through this thing, man. We're, we're doing good here. So the next thing is the case. Okay. So this thing is only $36. Again, the case, as I always say, is just a place to put your parts. 
I wouldn't overthink this too much, but get something that you guys actually like. So we're going to do a little shopping here too. Let's see if Amazon has a, um, a Black Friday deal on a computer case, okay? Uh, computer case. And I know for a fact, I know there is one that I've seen already that's a Black Friday deal. Uh, so there's these two right here that are Black Friday deals, but this one's a little bit, it's a little bit too much for our price point. We don't really need to spend that much money. Let's see, what do these guys have? Does Newegg have any computer cases? Let's see. Case. I like how Newegg actually structures this better. They actually make it a bit easier for you to find stuff. Um, so let's see, case, case, case. So let's see, is there anything on these Black Friday deals that are really cheap? Um, I would not get one of these DIY PC cases unless you really want a budget case. Um, some of these Black Friday deals are pretty cool. Um, this Fantex case is good. There's my case right there, just in white or gray. Um, so like I said, like this Rosewell case is probably good. You get three ring lights or four of them actually. Uh, but again, it's $69.99. So for this build, I'm just gonna leave that case there as a, as a placeholder because it's so cheap. Um, and this is actually, I've used this case before. I've worked in a master box for my sister's build and uh, it's actually not a bad case. So I'll just leave it there. So to be honest, you guys, I just really wanna try to get at least maybe a 600 watt power supply. Uh, let's see, PC power supply 600 watt. Let's try, let's try to at least get a 600 so you guys have a little more room to upgrade. So look at this, the thermal take, thermal take smart uh, for $47. So we'll actually save a bit of money here. Um, Let's go ahead and see if we have another option just in case we don't want to do that one. What is this? The EVGA Gold. Oh, hey, that's a, that looks like a good one. That's that's a new version of this. So that, that could be a good option as well. Uh, Black Friday deal, $45. I don't know what company this is. So that, I mean, that could be an option for you guys if you guys want to roll the dice on that, but I've never heard of that company. So I would not put that in a build if I've never used it before. Um, let's see. Uh, here it is, 600 BR. Let's add that one. I literally just used this in a build, so I know it works. I know it's awesome. New egg coming in in the clutch again. Here we go. Let's go ahead and make sure this is available still. Must be a Black Friday deal. Yes, it is. $44.99 for a 600 bronze rated power supply. Uh, great power supply, you guys. This is cheaper than I got it for the last time I bought it. I think I bought it for 55 bucks or something like that. So uh, yeah, I would definitely advise going with that one. It's totally fine. You got plenty of extra headroom. Look at that. You got another 300 or well, 200 and something, 270 watts to play with. Okay. So right now, look at this. We actually decreased their original build. So we're only at $680. We might actually come in a little bit cheaper than I even thought you guys. Okay. Now we are also including, like I said, a monitor, keyboard and mouse in this. So you have a ton of options, but I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple things that I found on Amazon already. Um, one of them is on my list. Let's go ahead and look at my idea list. And this one, I was gonna actually do a full gaming setup on Amazon, but this deal was what sparked my interest because you guys can literally get this AOC right here, this 24 curved frameless gaming monitor, 1080p, 144 hertz, one millisecond free sync monitor for $115. Okay, so we found a Rosewell Neon K85 RGB BR. This has Cherry MX Brown switches. So this will be a really great option for you guys to get started with some uh, clicky, nice mechanical keyboard um, switches. And if you don't like the Browns, it also comes in Cherry MX Blues, which is a different feel, but that's totally up to you guys. And then as far as a mouse, there are a ton out there on the Black Friday deal. Um, I know there are a ton on Amazon as well. Uh, let's see, um, let's see, oh, the M55 Pro. That is pretty cool. A nice wired ambidextrous mouse. You know, we're gonna go with that one. $25. That is a nice Black Friday deal. So let's go ahead and just do that. So all said and done, you guys, the entire build is complete now. We got everything in right now. We got ourselves a monitor. We got ourselves a nice mechanical keyboard. We got a wired optical mouse as ambidextrous, so lefties and righties can use it. Uh, we got everything in there we need. All you gotta add now is a copy of Windows. Again, I will link it up there so you guys can see where you guys can go get windows uh, for cheap, uh, usually only like 12 to $15. Um, and uh, add that to that, you guys were spending about 800 and what, $875 in this entire build. And that is pretty awesome, you guys. And again, we're coming in under budget. Like I said, I wanted to keep it under $1,000. Uh, that's pretty awesome. 
Something that would normally be a thousand dollar PC looks like we are getting for a lot cheaper. So that gives you some room. Like I said, you can change out this motherboard. You can get something a lot better. You can go for like a more like a hundred dollar motherboard uh, with how much money you're saving right now. And you can have a little bit more room to upgrade or add a little bit more features if you guys want. But if you want a basic 1080p gaming PC that's going to be really awesome. And even you can actually play 1440p titles on this uh, computer as well. Uh, but again, you'll have to upgrade the monitor and uh, you'll have to be pushing about maybe 60 on certain games. You're not going to be getting 144 frames per second. But with this monitor, this graphics card, and this processor, you should be able to hit 144 hertz and 1080p games. No problems, you guys. So, okay, guys, so that's going to be it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's going to end up coming out a little bit late tonight, uh, but hopefully you guys still get some time to shop and get these deals uh, if you guys are looking and have been holding out to buy your PC and looking for the best deals today. Maybe I'll find you at the right time and maybe you guys will just be able to stumble upon these deals uh, like I did. Uh, so if you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure you give it a like if you guys enjoy what I did here. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments or you guys found any better deals than I did, leave them down in the comment section below so you guys and your fellow uh, PC gamers can uh, get the best deals on this Black Friday. Uh, and if you guys really enjoy my content, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn the notifications on so you can be notified of my next video. And uh, I got to get out of here and I will see you guys later. Hope you guys have a really great holiday. Um, hope your Thanksgiving was awesome. And I hope you guys have a great Black Friday shopping. See ya.